All right, I showed up on this uh, 1955 flip house thinking I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna get you some really great content. And I didn't, didn't disappoint too much. Uh, had a brand new water heater. AC has been replaced at some point in time. Found a little bit of stuff in the attic, but their biggest issue is obviously the roof. So the roof, let me show you the roof. And then this is gonna have to be a multiple house uh, content. So. I'm gonna have to go out again tomorrow and get a, another video house because this one wasn't enough for you guys. So let me show some of the stuff on this house that we found and then I will get another one right after this one. So looking at the roof, got to the top. I always like to walk to the top of a roof and do a first initial scan around. You can see there is a lot of heavy granule loss. They've been tarring in certain locations um, around the around the structure. You can see uh, some evidence of tar over here too as well. The, the service mass isn't installed properly either. You have shingles sliding out of place. And then there's holes through the roof structure pretty much on every corner where uh, trees have touched. This roof is pretty much at the end of its life. Easy spot. You don't need to be like a crazy home inspector or anything to spot this. And uh, what we do is uh, we send it to our referral partner and let them uh, give the client a quick quote for repair to let them know how much money that they're walking into. I'd say the roof is a pretty big fine. You know, it's not cheap to replace this thing. You're looking at like 9,000 minimum to replace a roof so uh houston numbers i don't know where it is everyone else walking to the property i saw brendan using the infrared FLIR thermal thermal camera and he was using a moisture meter at the same time this is how we like to use our infrared camera is we'll identify spots that are discolored and then follow it up with the moisture meter this is the best way to get the best accurate reading because just because a little bit of color difference doesn't mean that you have water. Here's another thing that he did is he was getting his differentials with the infrared camera and uh, you could see here that the the differentials are not that great. The AC was running the entire time I we were there and you can see there's a 10 degree difference between two different registers. Okay, today we are headed to a 2006 property with Josh Donahoe. It's 2,100 square foot ranch style. This property I would say is like the most common Texas property. It's pretty normal. Uh, headed to, but the day before I headed to Tyler and with Tyler showed up in the new build, it was a new build. I wanted to show you all a new build inspection and it wasn't ready. There was no carpet, the toilets weren't installed. Sad to say this has been happening a lot with new builds. There's not much we can really do about it. It's just annoying because builders will say they're ready. The buyers are told by the builders that they're ready and they're not. So. We just kind of eat the bullet on that one and keep moving on with our day. And I was headed to another inspection before this one and that one had to reschedule because the client just didn't want that one anymore. The market is starting to normalize, I guess. it. We were really spoiled during COVID and COVID slammed out our schedule. We were busy for like two weeks at a time and now we're booked out two two days or so and I'd say that's what we used to be three years ago it's just we got really spoiled over COVID where <laughs> there, there were, the business was unlimited and everybody was moving and buying properties so yeah let's uh, go see what Josh Donahoe is doing and uh, hopefully this one goes all the way through and I can get you a video finally all right Okay, just showed up on this one. Uh, it looks pretty good, did a quick walkthrough. What I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna go through and try to identify all the problems that are gonna show up on my inspection report. And just because that their problems are showing up on my inspection report doesn't really mean that they're bad. I'd say almost every single one of our reports has issues like this. So this is just gonna give you an idea of what's gonna be on majority of our inspector reports or most inspector reports. 
uh, this stuff shows up on every house. So uh, I'll go through and identify all the items. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Find number one, we have two thermal pane windows that have lost their seal. We catch this a lot on the sun bearing walls. Item number two is we're missing a splash block underneath the gutter. This has caused a little bit of movement in the wall. This is normal seasonal settlement, not a huge issue. Item number three is we have corner pops on the front side of the structure. This is a normal deficiency, a cosmetic deficiency. What happens is the brick expands and contracts at a different rate. The concrete does and it shears off the corners of the foundation. This will not cause any structural issues. We identify items not even part of the structure sometimes. You can see the concrete for the sidewalk is a little out of level. We just put it in just so the client is more informed. Item number five is you'll see this on every single inspection report. We recommend for caulking improvements around the property. You have to do this every four to five years because of the heat. Item number six is one of the major items that need to be repaired immediately. We're missing a storm collar on the roof, causing a little bit of a water leak in the garage. Roofer needed. Item number seven is we will document deficiencies with the fence. We do this to help better inform the client. It's not required by Trek because it's not part of the main structure, but I, we find out most clients like to know about the fence. Deficiency eight is we'll document any trees touching the roof line. Trees touching the roof line can damage the roof structure and also invite wood destroying insects into the property. Number nine, we will always find issues with the sprinkler system. No one ever pays attention to their sprinkler system and typically they might be installed wrong at some point in time. This one's missing the battery, the rain sensor is actually not installed properly, the box is loose, and the conduit on the outside of the structure is damaged too as well. A lot of, a lot of weed whacker damage happens. Item number 10. Two number th one things that show up on a property is the roof and the HVAC system. This HVAC system is time to be serviced. You have water in the pan, the pan's rusted through, the filter's dirty, and the differentials are off a little bit in the property. Other little things that we definitely write up around the property is damaged carpet, not required, but we do this to help better inform the client. Damaged toilets or other little cosmetic issues around the structure. Noisy exhaust fans. This exhaust fan is noisy, typically meaning it's close to the end of its life. And caulking improvements in most bathrooms. So there you go. Uh, that is a traditional inspection on a ranch style, you know, 2006 home. I'd say majority of our inspections can kind of look like that. That is a large volume of the properties here in Houston is a, is a style like that. And I'd say a majority of all the problems that we found too are the same. They, they look really close to that. It gives the client an idea of what maintenance items they need to take care of uh, and the, the, si the overall condition of the property. And this one, even though you saw the amount of things that I'm writing up, this property is a good property. You know, new roof, there's nothing really wrong with the water heater, the, the HVAC is working, it's, it's in fairly good condition, just probably needs a little bit of maintenance, it's probably dirty, and uh, the, you can see the coils were leaking fairly recently, and just a little bit of a roof issue, you know, uh, when you're talking about like immediate repairs. That stuff is, it's all good, you know, it's, it's, this is a normal property that you're going to run new, into, and those are things that we're going to find on every single structure so please hit the like and subscribe button if you like this type of content and leave a comment it really helps out the youtube channel and helps us grow all right thanks guys bye